Hey everybody, how's it going? Icy Cat here, and we have some new information regarding the updates coming to the newest test server. We've got lots of nerfs and buffs that are being tested out for Finca, IQ, Blackbeard, and Dokabi. Want to know more about how? Then stick around as we talk about it next. This information was posted today on the Rainbow Six Siege Technical Test Server subreddit. Community manager Ubitone posted the following information. The second operation Parabellum test server will go live tomorrow, Wednesday, July 11th. The times are to be determined and will be updated here. It then goes on to let us know what gameplay changes they're going to be testing out. So the first thing they're looking at trying is replacing Finca's stuns with frag grenades, which is arguably a buff to that character. A further buff being tried out is to reduce the amount of damage she takes when she's affected by Smoke's gas grenades while under the effect of her ability. That damage is now being modified from 2 where it was previously down to 1.5. This reduces the effectiveness of Smoke being used as a direct counter to Finca when her ability is active. It still works, but it doesn't work as effectively as it used to under these proposed test changes. Now to compensate for Finca gaining frag grenades, IQ will lose her frag grenades and will instead be getting a claymore in place of them. Furthermore, IQ will be nerfed on her electronic detector. The range is now going to be 15 meters instead of the previous 20 meters that it had been before. This next nerf is going to be highly controversial. Blackbeard's shield is now being further nerfed. It is down to 50 hit points per shield. So for those that thought that Blackbeard had been nerfed severely before when he got reduced to 60 hit points per shield, it's going down even further to 50 hit points per shield. These things are now going to be made of pretty much paper mache. Arguably to make up for that, they're saying that there has been a slight boost in movement while using the shields when the shield is equipped. The movement speed is slowed by 30%. Now, whether or not you think that makes up for the fact that his shields are now 10 hit points weaker per shield is really up to you. The last operator comes with Dokabi. Her Claymore mines are being swapped out and replaced with stun grenades instead. There's a couple of other minor changes that are included with this too. Some weapons have a different recoil pattern or feel. They list specifically the K1A1 for Vigil and Capitao's M249. A couple of bug fixes are also in play, so they had an add drone deployment option to the controls option, which has been fixed. Multiple actions and customized controls would be bound to the same key causing issues, which has been fixed. And finally on coastline, there was a section on a wall in the second floor penthouse that caused the operator's feet to clip through part of that wall. So those are all the changes that are going to be tested out starting tomorrow. We don't know how long this test server will last for. The one that came out last week really didn't have a lot of changes to it, so I didn't even bother covering it in a video. They weren't changing anything really significant, and it was only lasting for pretty much a 24-hour period. This one, however, is worth talking about as there are some significant buffs and nerfs that they're checking out. Now, do keep in mind, a test server is something they're trying to see how it works. It doesn't necessarily mean that these will be the final changes that will make it into the game. But what it does mean is that this is something they're checking for balancing and wanting to see how this plays out. Changes in the test server do frequently make it into the live game, even if they don't always make it in, at least not the way they're proposed. So what do you guys think? Are these operator buffs and nerfs something that you'd like to see them do? Or do you think that they need to be going in a completely different direction? Let me know down in the comments below or share with me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. If you haven't already, please do like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification icon so you're alerted as soon as I make new content available. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.